Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming to Trans West. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming to Trans West. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I'm very excited to have an opportunity to show you this spectacular 2021 Newmar King Air. Uh, this is by far the crown jewel of Newmar's production line. Uh, this is our best offering through and through. Um, today, you'll be with me, your guide, Katie O'Neill. You can always reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659 or at katie.oneilltranswest.com. I respond to text, phone, mail, uh, phone emails, uh, whatever is the easiest for you. Uh, we are doing a Facebook Live video today. Um, this is a model number uh, 4553 in stock number 5N201375. Again, 5N201375. And please note that this is one of four King Airs. Uh, our first we delivered last month, uh, but we've got four more coming in. So. If you love this King Air, but maybe there's something a little different about it, we've got some special orders coming in, we've got some different floor plans coming in. I'd love to walk you through those options. But let's go ahead and get a start today from the back of the coach. Uh, a few people do things different ways in this industry when you watch videos. I really like to start inside out. Um, now, please keep in mind, the second half of this video will cover a lot of exterior tech. But let's start from the bathroom and the beginning of the most important part of the coach, uh, the back where the restroom is and where the bedroom is. Uh, Jody, please take a look around as you walk back. This is just beautiful. And you might want to just pan down and show uh, that leather wrapped bed. Very different in the 2021. There's over 100 new options on this RV that differentiate it from the rest of our model lines. Uh, that that uh, baseboard used to be wood, now it's wrapped in leather. So kind of a neat thing. Um, and then as you go in, you're gonna see this marble tile floor. Just spectacular. Uh, very spacious, lovely uh, bathroom design here. Uh, you'll notice that we do have a trough sink here and it is inset uh, or underset and it's below, it's below this beautiful quartz countertop. Uh, this quartz countertop is available in four different colors. Uh, so depending on which of the interior options you choose, today we're looking at the Mesa interior. So you'll see a lot of the things that come with Mesa are the backsplash, the quartz that you see here. But this marble floor that you see will be the same on all of the models. Um, so things that will be different in different models, but in this particular uh, RV, this is our, mo our marble floor. And this is a hand laid marble floor. It's absolutely beautiful. It's different than anything else in the rest of the coach and is a really unique aspect to the King Air. Uh, so let's just start here with some storage information. Um, so right here above your silver leaf touchpad, we have our medicine cabinet, and you'll notice we don't have handles. We have just really beautiful, delicate, soft openings. Um, and then 110 outlets are uh, placed very conveniently in lots of different compartments. I actually keep my hair dryer in this compartment. Uh, and you'll notice that these are all carpet lined. I don't know if you wanna get in there and just take a quick look. Um, just to help prevent rattles, keeps things nice and quiet while you're going down the road. Um, and then you'll notice that we have this really lovely uh, backlit mirror. Uh, we do this not only in the full bath in the rear, but also in the mid bath. Just nice so you can get a little extra illumination in this cab. Um, but take note, it is really, really uh, bright in here. It's very comfortable. And you can kind of see around the top of this mirror um, our beautiful wallpaper. This is the Mesa wallpaper. There is wallpaper differences between all of the coaches. Uh, we can help you mix and match, so if there's one that seems better for you, we're happy to help you get that right adornment. Um, and then it's going to bring us down here next to our really cool faucets. So these have a little swivel head. You can choose, you know, just by pushing down on them which direction they're facing, and they can change up to 8 degrees. So you can have them spray more forward or more down, depending on if you're washing your face or if you need to rinse something off. Uh, but once again, this dual vanity is just really, really contemporary, beautiful. Um, and of course, you can see with our, uh, our beautiful uh, oak diamond gloss cabinets, um, really lovely dovetailed construction, um, very deep drawers. Everything uh, throughout Normar, Numar for the most part is soft close, um, but this is a very special finish for us. Uh, this Italian Euro or European um, influence in design uh, just really kind of sets off the level of uh, craftsmanship that has gone into this RV. 
Uh, and so here's a little more storage underneath. Great place to keep some washcloths and maybe some towels. And then you'll have that same great storage mimic here on this other side. And I won't open all of those, but as you can see, you also once again have 110 volt outlets on both sides. So plenty of power if you want to run a curling iron. I'm going to pop in front of you and we'll talk a little bit more about the emergency exit here. So this exit is actually really interesting. So not only do you have a really nice, you know, um, decorative uh, panel here, but you also have a great benefit in that you can unlock and open this hatch and this magnetic cover comes off and releases a ladder. So if you need to escape out of the back of the coach, um, there's an escape point in the bedroom, but there's also one here in the bathroom. But this is not something where if you use it, you've got to go replace it and, and you can actually just fold it up and put it back in. So you can use this to load, for instance, all of your linens. You could use it to bring in any supplies that you wanted to bring before your trip if it would help you to get in and out a little bit faster. So very, very convenient there. Also allows for easy repair if you need of your Dometic uh, potty here. As you can see, a really nice solid toilet. Uh, you've got your toilet paper dispenser right here in the corner. And then you also have a really cool little cabinet that you can keep just, you know, I think Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever it is that you might need. Uh, but just great design on the, on the part of Numar. Uh, this is a Dometic system. Uh, and then that's going to bring us to our closet. So please note that these closet doors, not only do they have a glass insert, they also have a cedar lined uh, bay, okay. complete with a Numar safe. So you have your dual hanging rods, you've got a taller hanging rod for longer clothes. Everything is carpet lined. And lots of room for shoes. You also have your light control back here. And this year we've actually moved a lot of our controls for our satellite systems and uh, all of our television systems to the back here to this top shelf. But you've got a ton of wardrobe compartment space. And then LED lighting, if you can catch this, not only above in the strip, but also in the, towel, in the hanging rack itself, so also in that bar, which really, really, this three-tiered lighting really makes a big difference throughout the coach. And you'll notice it as we go through. Um, things just glow. It's absolutely, uh, it's absolutely splendid. Now, on the word of splendid, let's go into our washer and dryer and realize that we do not have a Splendid in this coach. We actually have a Bosch washer and dryer, and this is a residential capacity. One of the nice features of this is there's a lot of different settings here. So if you're looking to do something with your delicates, maybe you're going to be out on a bike ride and you've got your kit and you want to make sure that you don't ruin it by washing it too warm, you can change that. Same thing goes down here. There's a ton of heavy soil, so maybe you go on a hike and you get a little muddy. Uh, just towels, all sorts of different nice settings. And for me, as somebody who likes a nice washer and dryer, it's really wonderful to see that replicated here in this RV. Now, one of the things that happens when we get into this model, uh, we have a 4553 and a 4551. Gotcha. Uh, the 4553 boasts a really nice additional pantry. So this could be a shower or it could be storage. And for a lot of people, storage is underrated and they really like that. And then on top of it, you have another hamper. So we really love this. Um, really, really nice adornment here. Now please note I'm standing on this cool cover, right? So this is your engine cover. This is a diesel pusher. It's on the K3 Spartan chassis with 605 horsepower. But this little cover here is also heated. So if you get up at night and you want to go to the restroom, your little toesies will be nice and warm. And you do have three zone heat in this coach as well as hydronic heat. And then I just wanted to show you, this is a really nice shower. So one of the things that Numar has done is offered these cathedral ceilings. So you can kind of see where this beautiful arch is, um, how the ceiling goes up. So you've got plenty of room for this rainfall shower head. And the Chevron rainfall or waterfall tile inlay is hand done and just exquisite. It really adds to the panache of this coach. Of course, you've got a handheld shower head as well as your rain head, and then a place for your shampoo, your conditioner, and your body wash as well as a teak bench. Uh, this bench is really handy. You'll notice in this RV, not only do I have a place where I could shave my legs, I've got a place I could keep my razor. I've got a place I could keep additional shampoos. Maybe my husband has a different you know, type that he likes, so we could keep that here, because of course I get the good ones. Um, 
not kidding. Uh, anyway, so just beautiful tile inlay throughout, and um, you'll notice there's towel bars very conveniently located on the door itself, so really great use of space. And then behind there, you'll see there's that robe hook. So super, super convenient, nothing lost in, uh, in functionality in this RV. And one thing that you'll note when we come through, if you look at this beautiful uh, illumination here, you'll notice that this kind of a peculiar speckle on the ceiling. That is because the entire coach has an ostrich leather wrapped ceiling. Yeah, no kidding, it's true. Uh, Kim went crazy, they said she could, she took it to the full length and we spared no expense. This is the most magnificent coach Newmar has ever made. Jody, I'm gonna sort of lock you in there real quick to show how lovely these doors are with this little mirror detail. So really, really lovely. Um, and please note, right now we are running the air conditioning uh, and we're running the air conditioning off of our dual battery pack. So we've got a dual lithium ion battery pack that's actually strong enough to run your air conditioners in the, in the mid and front zones without being plugged in. So that's something we've never had before. And it makes making these videos uh, really amazing. We actually usually have to do them in a completely different location where we can plug in and we can do this in the middle of our parking lot in front of our lovely facility here at TransWest. Um, and that brings us now into our res or, sorry, residential uh, bedroom. And I did leave uh, two of these windows open because I wanted to kind of show off these shades today. But also, we have these new bonded windows. These are the largest windows we've ever had on any RV. Um, and it's just spectacular. But you can see inside of those little compartments that there's actually, once again, that three-tiered lighting where you've got that beautiful, soft glow of that LED lighting in the back. And then it's also carried up here into, the, right above the headboard, you can see that beautiful LED. Now there's also light pucks that you can control here at your Silverleaf system. There's one on each side. Um, this does come with an option. Uh, if you would like to have more storage overhead, we do offer overhead cabinets. And we have plugs on either side of these nightstands underneath. There's a 110, out, uh, or 110 volt outlet underneath. Uh, and then there are wireless charging docks on both of these set in this beautiful quartz counter that we have here. Um, but we would love to offer to you if you do have, for instance, a CPAP machine that you'd like to plug in and this is not exactly as convenient as you'd like it, we are, well, we are happy to accommodate you and to build an overhead storage compartment um, with everything that you need and the little holes for access points above this uh, head unit here. Um, and that's gonna bring us around to another system. Now, I want you to notice though, before we, before we pan around, look at how tall the ceiling is. We've actually gained two inches, um, not just in ceiling height, but also in slide height. And that is because we have come up with a really great and unique solution uh, to your floor. So the star foundation has continued uh, for us here in the King Air. It's a very important aspect that gives us a flat building surface that allows us to put things like this porcelain tile floor uh, down below my feet and it allows us to have less cracking and shifting so a more solid surface to build on. Uh, but by replacing our, our previously three inch thick uh, insulated floor with a much higher caliber plywood, it's a marine grade plywood, and an R22 back insulation. We actually get the same insulation for a lot less inches, and those inches are valuable when you're, when you're in here because it gives you this big opulent feel that you get in the King Air. And it's very unique to this product, so this is definitely something that differentiates. Now another thing that differentiates is we've got all these silver leaf outlets you know, throughout the coach, so they're very convenient. But these nice systems here where you can actually go into your coach and see your fresh, your black, your gray water systems. You can check on your AC power. You can take a look at your DC power. You can check your generator. Um, oops, there's generator right there. Uh, you can start and stop the generator. You can also take a look at whether or not you're um, you know, running close on gray water. Now, gray water, let's talk about that. Gray water's 80 gallons, holy mackerel, 60 black. 105 gallons of fresh water. I mean, this thing is a monster. Uh, now, climate control, of course, you can do all zones or you can do three zones. You can see we have control right here, very easy. And we have our block heater as well. You can turn that on and off depending on storage. We've got your batteries, a lot of information on this battery panel now. 
um, especially since we're running off of that solar and those inverters. And this is one of my favorite modes. So this is coach mode. So we have this set right now to active camping. But if I wanted to go ahead and hit outdoor plugged in for storage and hit activate, it would change all of these little check marks and actually get this coach ready for storage for me. So I'm no longer having to guess as to whether or not I turned on the right thing or turned off the right thing. Everything's right here. Uh, once again, that's your floor heat. And this is just to turn off the color so you can still have this on at night, but it won't be quite as bright. Um, and I really like, um, here's all of your shades, here's all of your door locks so you know what's opened and closed. And then most importantly though, if somebody rings your doorbell and you don't know who's there greeting you, there's a camera outside of that doorbell and you can see, oh, there's the overhead that I was looking at, everything around you. So if you hear something weird at night, you don't have to get out with your, you know, mace and go see who's, you know, prowling around your RV or if it's just a raccoon, you can actually just take a quick look. Maybe you could even videotape it and put it on Instagram with a picture of the cute little bear sniffing around in the cabins, who knows. Um, but anyway, so very, very cool security system here. Once again, uh, the My Rosie app will also allow you to do a lot of this monitoring when you're away from the coach. Uh, so for instance, if you wanted to get ready, you could actually set your coach, as long as it's got a Wi-Fi connection, to be cooled off and ready for you to rock and roll so that when you get there to load your coach, instead of having to start the generator and turn on the air conditioners, you can actually set this RV where you put the temperature down, it'll immediately or automatically kickstart that generator for you and get everything cooled and prepped for you so you're ready to go. Um, so that's going to bring us into the other half of our spectacular bedroom. Um, so just a little more storage here. Of course, again, carpet lined everything. Uh, you would expect nothing less. Um, the Amish craftsmanship that goes into this in Napanee, Indiana is second to none. Um, it's really just, it's a blessing to us that we have such amazing workers that work for Newmar and love this product as much as they do. Uh, it's generational. But again, carpet lined, really nice adjustable shelving. Big deep drawers. Uh, one of the RVs that we have ordered, uh, and it's coming in, does have a beautiful uh, fireplace in the bedroom. So um, I might have had a little bit of something to do with that. I kind of said, hey guys, what do you think? And uh, our management team here is really great about getting feedback from all of our executives. We have so many uh, specialists here at Trans West here in Frederick that are just longtime RV lovers that do an amazing job. And there's a lot of knowledge here. So we get a lot of feedback. We build a lot of really unique and special RVs. Uh, the one that we have coming in with the fireplace has the wider, lighter, white mink rift oak in it, and it's going to be just like a diamond inside out. It's got a special paint exterior uh, with a white skin instead of a dark skin. So perfect for desert camping. Anyone who loves MCC down in the Palm Desert, raise your hand, give me a call, text me. Um, I give you all the specs on it. I love that RV. I'm very excited about it. Um, but yeah, so that's a lot about our bedroom. Jody, I'm going to go ahead and shut you in for a few quick seconds again, just to show off these beautiful doors. And the track on this this year is even one of the new uh, features that we have. And like I said, there's over a hundred new features. Um, I actually have a really nice, um, concise, Utah, I've got a lot of notes, a list of all of the new features that we have here in the new RV um, segment for the King Air this year. So if you are interested in having that information, reach out, please. I'd be happy to provide it to you. And then Jody, if you'd like to go ahead and just take a look at this front area, and I'm going to kind of catch up to you after you've gotten up there and start off with this pantry. So we're here now in the uh, heart of the RV. This is the living quarters. This is where everybody hangs out. This is where we eat dinner. This is where we dine with our friends. And when you have company over, it's really nice to have a second bathroom. So this is our mid bath. And I have the day shade partially dropped because I wanted to make sure I could show you that there is a nice a window here in this RV. And then traditionally above the potty, we always have uh, our cabinet with all of our fuses in there that's still in the same place. You'll see just an amazing, nice, clean design by Numar. Everything is so tidy, easily accessible. And of course, you've got Noogle, you've got your uh, Numar rep that specializes in King Airs at your fingertips if you ever have questions. 
And then there's your towel rack there on the left. And then down on the bottom, you'll be able to see that Dometic controller. Now that's a non-touch, so it's COVID friendly. And your porcelain potty as well. And then you'll see here we have our hose attachment center on the left, and then below that on the right we have the central vac. And Jody, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna pop in there and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna open this and open this so we can show both of these things. So your central vac is lit and then your toilet paper is in a smart position. It's actually underneath the cabinet. That way you always know when you're running low, right? And then we already talked about our medicine cabinet with those beautiful backlit mirrors. Um, just another nice feature. And you'll notice in this coach, um, one of the things that's kind of unusual is this door. So what this door does is this door actually allows me to open this and have access to the restroom while we're going down the road. So that's a really nice feature. Um, if you've got guests with you or even if it's just, you know, time for the you know driver to take a break and you want to come in and you don't want to actually have to open up the slides it's really easy to have access to a lot of things including your pantry um, so this is a Revis shelf uh, feature and you'll notice we have these throughout the coach Revis shelf is an amazing manufacturer they do a lot of uh, very high-end residential home uh, upfits these are adjustable shelves they have a very nice uh, maple finish with a nice bar so you can change whether you have olive oil, champagne, soup, whatever it is that you might need in here. And they're on this lovely uh, soft closed door with a little lock up on top, but a lot of storage capacity there. And just to the right of that, not only do you have your high-end you know, residential rubbish shelves, you have a Viking refrigerator. I mean, what a luxury. Uh, this is something we've never done before. We do very well with Whirlpool, but if you know the difference, if you know the difference, then you know Viking is just that step up. And when that's your motto, you have to do what it takes to be different. Uh, you've got door controls here on the inside of the door. Beautiful uh, stainless. And this stainless is that, that new stainless that doesn't print, so that's a really nice feature. And then also these are once again all adjustable. Um, I love this extra storage space. We do a lot of nice cheeses. Um, this is a great place to keep, you know, bacon, cheese, salamis, meats, whatever you want. And then of course, individually adjustable humidity zone for vegetables and fruits. And then little things like this, like these adjustable shelves that can go up and down. And these also adjust. So I put these in where I would like them. You could of course move them to where you would like them. And you'll notice we have a water filter here for our ice maker. And then our ice maker is down here in this really, really luxurious freezer. Now keep in mind, we do have another freezer or refrigerator or both outside. So your Dometic is outside, but this is a lot of room for anybody who's going camping or anybody who's actually decided to, you know, stay in one place for six or seven months, maybe take advantage of the, you know, of, of Florida's coastline or, well, you know, the, the bays down in Texas, wherever you might want to go. Um, so Viking here, so we, what else would you expect? But Viking here, Viking there. And I love this new release. This is so nice. You can stand back. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. And you'll notice once again, we've removed all of the, the poles. Uh, you've got a 30 inch Viking uh, microwave as well as convection oven. And when you're in all of these luxurious appliances, you can't stop there. We've gone to the Wolf induction here. So please note that this lovely cutting board is still here for you, even though we have this magnificent quartz uh, cooktop or quartz countertop. And then I really like this feature, like these outlets that come out here in the back, those are really nice. So if you've got your blender set up, great. When you're done with it though, you don't have to have those unsightly holes. You can actually have those hidden. And I do have in this nice little drawer we have here, a measuring tape because, well, first of all, this is my second video. And the last one, when I did my first video, I got it stuck in the wall. So we're not gonna do that this time. But I did wanna show you, it's not actually 48 inches, it's 49 inches deep. And there's a lot of counter space. Um, so thank you, Mr. Love, for letting me borrow your, your measuring tape for my video. Um, 
really cool though to have so much cooking area uh, for those of you that love to cook um, lots of drawer space of course is important but most importantly if we have oh, oh it's not on but that's okay we have our dishwasher so really lovely Fisher Pickle dishwasher it just ha doesn't stop um, once again they told Kim, you make this excellent, and she did everything on this coach is spectacular, down to the dishwasher. Now, what RV would be complete without five trillion remotes? Yes, we have five trillion remotes. And uh, just as a side note, we have the contemporary graphics on the outside, and that red paint is cayenne red metallic. That is what makes this coach so hot, hot, hot. Um, it's an absolutely spectacular exterior color. We'll go through that when we get outside. Now let's just make sure I've covered everything. So we've covered the heated porcelain tiled floors. Ah, Oasis, continuing hot water system. So this new Oasis system that we have here that gives you not only continuous hot water with a residential side, side faucet or style faucet, also gives you fresh water here. Uh, this Oasis system is actually, uh, instead of 3,500 BTUs or 35,000 BTUs, it's 85,000 BTUs. So this is like mind boggling. It's almost triple. Um, so hydronic heating is gonna keep this coach nice and warm for you in cold climates. It's gonna give you instantaneous hot water. Uh, in the shower, there's actually an aqua view system that allows you to get that hot water up and running so that you're recirculating your water instead of filling up your gray water tank and using your fresh water. All that being said, you almost don't need it when you've got that much power. I mean, it's just an amazing amount of hot water on demand. Um, so super nice new feature. Once again, Reva Shelf does these amazing full slide outs for you so you can see how much room you get uh, when you pull these out. So you, just really great access. And then one of my favorite things is, this is probably not where you will keep your books, um, but it is where you will keep your uh, trash can, all of your cleaning supplies. And then if you would like to have a place to store your kitchen sink covers, you can store them right here underneath. If you're like me, I probably would leave them at home and use those for cookie sheets, but you know, whatever is clever. You get to do whatever you like when you've got a King Air. It's kind of the world is your oyster. Oh, let's go ahead and close that up. All right, so just a few more shelves to sh or drawers to show you here. Once again, really nice deep drawers. And then a little extra counter space goes a long way. So just a really nice galley. Great place to, uh, to make all of your family meals. Uh, if you're inside, of course, when you're camping, a lot of times we're outside. Just slides right in really easy. Just a little button to release. Um, and then you'll notice I have the day shades down. So this is the day shade that drops down from behind the cabinets over the kitchen window. Um, that optional kitchen window for Newmar was a, was a real difference maker in letting in that light. And it really, really just sets off this lovely kitchen that we have here. Now, when you're done cooking, you want to eat, right? So what do you do? Well, it might be more than just the two of you or four of you. If you have company, this RV comes with two of these in, in extensions. Uh, these, these are both covered in uh, blue tape and paper for right now until this little coach finds a home. But you have uh, two of those. You also have a lot of extra storage underneath these chairs. And those two uh, inserts go here into your table. So you have a lot of sitting room or a lot of room just to entertain. Maybe you're having a party and you want to put out some chips and guac. It's nice that your buffet is stationary. Um, so once again, you can see here this lovely three-tier lighting glowing throughout the coach. There's no puck lighting anywhere in this cabin. Um, you'll notice that we have these sensors up top. So these sensors are designed so that if you're gonna get up in the middle of the night and have a bowl of ice cream, you don't have to turn the lights on. It'll just turn on for you. And then when you're done, you put your bowl in your nice dishwasher, you go back to bed and the lights will turn off for you. So you don't have to do anything. We've got sensor activation if you so choose. Now, if you're sneaking the ice cream, make sure you turn off the sensors. Okay, so let's talk about the next step. I think the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna turn on my favorite system so Jody, pan around. Everyone take a look at this lovely coach and all of its glory. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sit down on 
these new theater seats that have both heat and massage. Um, let's get my feet out. And then it's time to push systems. Let's go to theater mode. That's right, guys. Theater mode. Here it goes. This is absolutely spectacular. So when it's time to watch a movie with your friends, you can kick back and relax. Probably should have the door closed for the ultimate effect, but it wouldn't be great for our cinematography. Jody, can you show how laid back I can be? I can be so laid back. So super nice here. Lots and lots of room. And this TV that's almost all the way up now is an 8K 55 uh, television. So I don't even know what you can get on 8K, but I promise you whatever you watch here is gonna come in crystal, crystal clear. So super nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead now that we've seen how theater mode works and I'll go ahead and just turn off. Uh, we'll go dinette. There we go. All of our shades up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go back into systems and put our TV lift down. And we're going to really kind of focus on these windows. So these windows are the largest windows ever offered by Numar. Uh, they're bonded windows. They're beautifully chrome lined on the interior. So Joe, if you want to come in here and just get kind of a close up of this finish. But when you get a bonded window, this is very much the same way you would put in a windshield uh, on a car or on the front of one of these large RVs. But they're bonded into the actual uh, side of this RV, so you don't have wind noise. Uh, you have a seamless line on the exterior, uh, and you can make them a lot bigger. So once again, we have gained that two inches in slide. Uh, you can get, if you would like, cabinets over uh, this area, if, if, if that would be a desire for you. For us, we really like this increased open feeling. We think that they've done a good job with storage, so it's not necessary, but if you've got a lot of stuff and you're going to live in your RV, certainly you can put those in there. Okay, so we've talked about the ostrich wrap uh, uh, ceilings. We've talked about the European and styled wood cabinets, all four quartz countertops available. We've talked about all the fixtures. We've done theater seating. We, we didn't mention, but you do have a three, uh, three zone uh, air conditioners so you've got three air conditioners on this unit and you can run two of those air conditioners the mid and forward without running uh, the coach's generator or being plugged in so that's a really really big difference um, universal remote control of course we know you need one of those because uh, well there's so many remotes on this coach uh, now we haven't talked yet about the my Rosie app which allows you to control this coach for remotely nor the Samsung tablet. So this coach also comes with a really cool tablet that you can go in and actually, you can have it in your hand and operate everything on the coach, go through everything without having to go to either one of your control centers in the front or the rear of the coach. And that's a nice feature. So let's go, I think now to the front. Um, I have not opened this up. This is a, so we have a new um, all leather uh, interior furniture set this year. Um, so everything in this coach for the first time ever is all leather, not just the ceiling. Um, and this is uh, really nice. It's super simple. I might as well show it to you since it's so easy. So you can take these cushions off, fold them in half, really easy. Of course, throw the nice cushions on the floor. That's where they belong. There we go. And this is super simple. And I mean, this is important stuff. If I was buying an RV and I, was spending this kind of money. I want to make sure if I wanted to have my friends come, I wouldn't have to really labor to get them into bed. And it's really easy. So it's just a nice little trifold. It's super comfortable. And there's uh, seat belts here behind underneath. So there's two seat belts here as well. So you'll have two, four, you can actually have six people in this coach. And there's your seat belt access. And this just folds down. It's very soft, um, just great furniture. Newmar's had great furniture forever, so there's no surprise there. We kind of know what we like to do and we know how to do it best. So pretty easy to operate. But I guess it's nice to be able to show you how easy that is. Kind of a little ad lib in our video, but certainly important, right? Uh, on that note, on either side of this, you'll notice we have, again, 
more of these little pop-ups. So really nice to have outlets everywhere in this RV. Um, easily accessible. So no lack of power. And then storage, you know, everywhere you can think of. We've got storage everywhere. And I'm going to just go ahead and touch this little light pad here. Just hit all lights back on. And then I'll turn all my lights back on in the coach. So let's go to the front. Um, kind of a hard decision. I'm going to close this just so it's, we don't have this background noise. Um, I think we'll start here. So uh, this is the queen seat, right? This is where the queen lives. Uh, we have an optional uh, number of different desks that plug into this. Uh, if you tell me which one you like the best, it's not included with the coach, but we'll make sure it's included with the coach. That's, that's a non, non, it's not a non-issue. So um, any desk you like, whatever suits you better, if it's an iPad holder, if you're actually using it as a workstation, you can choose that. Uh, and then down here, you'll notice we have climate control settings, a place to charge your phone. We can control the, the step cover. Should probably do that real quick. So this Corian entryway has a really nice step cover. And this is just handy because if you've got a puppy that's traveling with you, you don't want your dog to fall in the hole. So um, pretty easy. Goes in and out really fast. And you can change your patio light from either white or white to amber. So if you want a little lighter light, you could do that amber lighting. And then this is the, oh, oh, oh crap, honey, we lost the Jeep camera, which I really like because you can see all these different, uh, you can choose all these different settings on your uh, controller so you can see what's going on behind you when you're driving. So super handy there, as well as control of your navigation. Um, all of that's there. And of course, this is running with a Rand McAnally system. Rand McAnally, of course, will tell you if you're going to come towards a bridge or go over something that you might be too heavy for. Uh, so super nice. And then just uh, once again, I do have people ask why we make these all the same size. Uh, the reason we make these all the same size is we just want that continuity of look. So even though the drawer is a little shorter, it would look kind of odd to have a cutoff here because we are going to use all of the space we can. So these are ULEDs. Uh, the only 8K you have is the large TV that comes up during the theater setting. And then look at this operation. Man, have we come a long way. How simple is that? So your Gerard dual awnings are controlled here. There's three of them. You've got one that goes over the exit of the door. You've got two large ones that, that flank the entire uh, length of the coach. They're spectacular, huge, lovely. Um, of course, once again, still have your camera controls just like you did in the rear of the house. And then everything here, your privacy drapes, it's all just so simple and right at your fingertips. All your slide controls are right here. Uh, so just by the simple touch of a button, we can bring everything in. And Jody, you might want to step back so I don't squish you. You can show everyone how this is happening. And of course, this hydraulic uh, full side slide that we have on the driver's side of the coach is what has allowed us to move away from carpet and to give you a solid tile experience throughout the front and rear of the coach. So pretty nice there. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to walk through the middle of this RV. So now that we've got those in, Jody, why don't you come around front and we can kind of take a look once again at camera systems. Um, just for the simple, uh, viewing of today's uh, demonstration. I didn't want to put those uh, Gerard awnings out, but I think it's really nice. You can kind of see, look at that inventory. What a great place to come and buy an RV. Uh, here at TransWest in Frederick, uh, we're one of four locations and just a phenomenal, um, phenomenal service department and a great selection of RVs. Uh, so here we are gonna have, oh, if we were started, well, let's just do that. Let's just go ahead and start us. So push button start, nice feature. Maybe, if it can read me. I know that this uh, battery is close. There we go. Key not recognized. Let me see if I can get it close enough. The battery in this one's uh, definitely a little worse for the wear. 
Well, I know it works because I got it over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stop past that. Um, so anyhow, so one of the nice features is that not only do you have a telescopic steering wheel that goes up and down and as well as in and out, uh, you also have uh, memory programmable seats. So this will program your steering wheel position. It'll program also your pedal position, so how close or out far out your pedals are. And it will also control uh, your mirrors on the left and the right side. So everything is programmable, so whoever is driving on your road trip, they can get really comfortable and get everything set the way they like it. Uh, we also have some nicer features. For instance, we have the uh, driver's side power window. Um, and then, as you'll note here, I have my phone charging, and I can actually see on my phone as well. So super nice there. Lots of USB outlets. Um, auto leveling will only work when the RV's on. I'm going to try this one last time. Okay, that's a good, good call. I don't know if we're going to be able to auto level though, because I don't know if I'll be able to get the coach started. No, nope, my battery's dead. It just doesn't. If we can't, we'll just move on. Yeah, that's fine. Not a big deal. I was hoping to show you all the auto leveling to, uh, today. That's a really cool feature of this RV, but it's okay. We've, got, we've talked about a lot. We've got plenty more to cover. So let's make sure uh, we've talked about everything up front. So Mobileye is going to be uh, part of the camera system that actually tells you how close you are to an RV or a car in front of you and it'll allow you to have adaptive cruise control. So if you've got a Mercedes or a BMW or an Audi that has those features, you have your same lane tracking packages. Uh, in this exterior mirror here, you can see the little triangle on the right, just in the middle of that, uh, of that mirror. That's gonna be if there's somebody in your blind spot. And then you also have a right-hand turn indicator in that same mirror as well. Uh, this mobile eye here is what's going to tell you about what's going on in front of you. So you have eight sensors this year, which is a big improvement on the exterior of this coach. It's a long coach, and so instead of having two sensors, you've got eight. So you've got blind spot assistance, you've got your mobile eye to tell you how close you are, you've got your adaptive cruise control, so you've got all of these great safety features, uh, which will really help you with comfort driving both day and night. And then on top of that, you also have an adaptive uh, high beam system. So you can put your high beams on, and if another coach is coming towards you, they'll dim automatically and then go back up to full. So we're using that Xenon headlight system or those HIDs to their full capacity, and we're also having really great LED technology throughout not only the interior of the coach, but the exterior for, ext for ex uh, extended uh, safety. Um, so really good features there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things on the outside. Um, I will show you. Uh, before we exit, great drawer spaces. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm always struggling for a place to keep my pen, my lip gloss, my controller for my uh, for my awnings, and then power seats along with cool and heat. So you've got heated and cool seats standard this year. You also have um, massage feature. Um, now, one of the things that's kind of cool is if you're going to go out of the lanes on this RV, uh, it'll vibrate your seat and get your attention, so you just turn around and you focus again. So pretty cool uh, that we've been integrated so much safety into this RV. Let's see if I can... Sorry, Jody. <laughs> there we go. So my sensor in my, so that's, we'll, we'll talk about these HWH steps. So these are hydraulic steps. They're really amazing. Um, they actually will, they're articulating. They'll adjust according to the height. That's actually one of the things that we were going to show you with the coach on earlier. Uh, so they'll change their height. And just now it got stuck and it actually has a sensor here in the front. So it won't come out too far. It won't it can just push through that, you know, curb or whatever it is that you might be encountering and ruin your steps. It'll, it's got its own safety feature to stop. And you'll notice here we have our full leather door. And once again, just amazing uh, bonded windows, which make a huge difference. And then a very nice screen. And this is just a lovely feature for us this year uh, with just a magnetic seal. So you don't have any uh, articulating motion for the door. Uh, now next to that, of course, we have, as usual, our 
keyless entry, very convenient for those of us who like to go out and go hiking or maybe fish and you don't want to bring your keys with you. And then of course I love the doorbell, great feature. Uh, and once again, we are looking at a really beautiful uh, paint job here. Uh, and this is our contemporary graphic offered uh, by the King Air. We have four contemporary paint options as well as four traditional paint options. And those can all be customized. So if you're looking for something, for instance, that's a little bit better in the Palm Desert, we have, for instance, the one that's coming in with a white skin. So it's an all white coach. You can make it pink, you can make it yellow. You can do whatever you like. We just want you to be happy. Um, so here's one of our filling stations here. So you do have dual fill for both your diesel and for your uh, Ad Blue. And then you'll notice here, just really nicely integrated sensors, or not sensors, but uh, illumination the whole way through. And then our chrome finish, um, just really adds a little bit of bling. Uh oh, I better get my, I better unlock my basement. Perfect. So push button locks, and these are also uh, going to vacuum seal, so they actually suck in for you, so they're soft close, which is really nice. Now you'll notice outside, one of the major changes of the 2021 King Air is that we've actually removed that darker lining, and we put in a waterproof fabric that's nice and bright, which will give you really easy visibility underneath for storage. And when you see how I close these, just really cool. There's just a really nice soft close and then they just kind of vacuum in. Very, very nice feature for this year. And then once again, you'll notice that we have this a really cool dual level storage. Power trays are standard. They go out either direction. Uh, this is the attachment for your central vac. So, and I'm not gonna put these all the way out. I don't think that that's necessary. Um, we've got a lot to cover underneath here and we haven't even gotten to the most uh, ex exciting aspect of this coach yet. So we'll go through this kind of quick. And then here we go. So this is a really nice, you've got your Bose 5K. This is just a really nice sound bar. It's controlled by Wi-Fi. Um, so you can plug in whatever radio station you'd like to listen to, Jody. I know I do this to you all the time, but there's no way I can reach that. Folks, this coach does not come with somebody tall enough to uh, close that. You need to get a step stool because it's way up there. So just another slide once again, great storage. In true Newmark fashion, of course, we always include extra tiles for you just in case you need to replace something in the RV. They will come standard. It's not something you need to ask for. Uh, this company is very, very uh, courteous and they think things through. There's really not a lot left for you to come up with on this RV. And if you can come up with something, I'd love to hear back because we'll get it to our designers and they will, uh, they will make sure it's integrated. Okay, so we've talked about the fact that we have There we go. Ah, an extra refrigerator or freezer. So when I say we have an extra refrigerator or freezer, this can be one or both. Uh, it could be either a freezer or a refrigerator. It gives you a lot of next, nice capacity depending on what you're using it for. If you want to put drinks in there, beverages, or if you're just going to go on a long trip and you want to keep extra meat, chicken, veggies, things like that. And then if you want to take a look behind this, Jody, this is um, our vacuum system is in here and then on top of that that's for our oasis system once again this is the largest oasis we've ever uh, had in any rv uh, really just giving you an enormous amount of comfort whether it be in hot water or hydronic heat uh, down here in these little bottom compartments these are emergency latches so if for some reason your power doors are not opening or closing there is a way around there there is a latch to release those right there um, and then there's plugs and led lighting underneath all of these A lot of people call this the garage. 
I wouldn't just put tire shine and extra oil in here. I would certainly uh, use this to put bug spray and suntan lotion, bottles of water, squirt guns, whatever you might need. Is this the one? This is the one. There's, I always know there's one. There's one on each side. And this is the coolest thing. So this is our Xantrax dual inverter, dual lithium ion battery uh, center. Now, one thing to keep in, uh, and to note about this is this is a 1,260 amp hours a piece battery pack with dual 3,000 watt Xantrax inverter. So this battery pack and this inverter system are designed to work together. Uh, previously, we had 16 ba batteries that put out 10 kilowatts. This dual battery pack uh, doesn't just double that, it more than triples that. This has 35 kilowatts. Uh, and the 16 batteries are actually 700 pounds heavier than this dual lithium ion battery pack. Uh, one of the things that you want to know about this is this is what's allowing us to have our air conditioners running while we don't plug into um, power or while we don't have our generators running. So it's a really big deal. Uh, and we shed 700 pounds. Now, of course, when you lose 700 pounds in an RV, what do you do? You put in quartz countertops that are 700 pounds heavier. That way you can make sure you don't waste anything at all. Uh, here's two more of those sensors that we have around the coach. So once again, you can kind of see how this is working. If somebody's in your blind spot here, that's an important thing to note. And I wanted to leave one of these slides out so you can kind of see underneath here and look at how well manufactured this is. You can see the paint comes all the way through, all the way down. And then Jody, if you'll just take it up to the left here, I want to show them how we don't just stop at the edge. We actually paint all the way through into the exterior of the slide. And we even have bonded windows in our bedroom. I mean, so they have really spared no expense here. Uh, here we have, of course, our deaf fluid. We do have a question. Ready. Oh, sure. What's the question? So the question is, is the solar red? Solar equipped. So, repeat the question. Solar equipped. It is solar equipped. Um, and for those of you that don't have solar yet, solar's a game changer. Uh, we work with Xantrex here. Um, and we are more than happy to, to, ins to install solar panels to your current RV if you don't have them already. But yes, solar is the way of the future. Lithium ion batteries, solar, we're really revolutionizing the entire RV industry and allowing you to be able to stop for a few hours, get out of your coach, go for a hike, and not come back and find out that that ice cream that you were sneaking in the middle of the night is now melted, because uh, that's a, just a shame. Uh, but yes, we are, we're, solar, we're, solar for, we're solar set for you, but if you're solar prepped, we can also make that, that's an easy fix for us. We keep everything on hand all the time. Um, I've actually got a Dutch Star that I had two days to get equipped with solar and we're installing it today. So it's a very easy job for us. We do it all the time. Thank you for asking. And if you've got any other questions, just give us some feedback. Okay, so here we are in the rear, uh, rear uh, cabin of the, of, the, of the RV. And I think the most exciting thing here is just our little power lift gate. Um, if you'll notice right here, really easy access. Now, in terms of your air dryer and such, we do have um, different filters that need to be changed either annually, biannually, or triannually. Um, but of course, when you come into Numar, we can take care of all of that for you. Uh, we'd love to be the place where you buy your RV, and then you can come by and see us at the beginning of every road trip every summer. We'll always get you ready to hit the road. Uh, we've got a phenomenal service department. Uh, but I wanted to just show you this beast. So once again, we're on a K3 Spartan chassis. Uh, we have 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. We have a 20,000 pound towing capacity on the back of this RV. But one of the most important and interesting things about this is we have this safe haul chassis integrated braking system. So you can see you have all of your brake lines um, and power lines and also your camera lines are already integrated for you. But one of the most important things is that we actually have a valve now that will sense how much weight you're putting on this, on your tow hitch and it will actually use a valve release to, 
to to reproportion re um, the weight from the rear tag to the to the tag axle or the rear axle to the tag axle to give you a more stable and comfortable drive. So really really cool feature. And then as you can see here in your cab, you have just a really easy access point for everything. Um, one of the things that's interesting about this cab is that this is where your Oasis uh, fluid goes for your overflow tank. And in a lot of RVs, this is really hard to access and get into. So this is just a great idea on the part of Numar. Everything is super simple to access, uh, makes it really nice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use that air valve to, show, to shut this down again. And then another sensor here as well, our traditional uh, Numar mud flap, which is just loud and proud and strong. Take a look at the back of this King Air. No one will wonder who you are or what you're driving. They'll know you're a guy who knows RVs. You're a gal who likes to camp. This is just a spectacular uh, RV with a beautiful, beautiful adornment, uh, both in just all the cutouts all the ventilation you have, but again, in these LED clad taillights with, you know, really good stopping immediacy, you know, the faster they illuminate, the sooner someone can see that you're in front of them. Of course, we've got our radiator here, and above that we have our emergency hatch with that, re with that replaceable ladder. So once again, if you do use this to enter and exit the cabin, it's really actually, if you could imagine, if I had some towels and I wanted to hand things through to my husband, pretty easy to get everything loaded up nice and quick so you can get down the road. Um, here we have our other death filling station. And then that brings us to our rear axles. So let's talk about this uh, tag axle setup here. So first of all, you have amazing R. 22 and a half uh, here on this this RV. What's really nice about these is that this 10% cut that we had in our previous tag has brought, been increased to 17%. So a 17% cut means that when this pivots in and gives you that extra turn, your turning radius is amazing. So I don't know if you could imagine this, but one of my favorite things to do with somebody is to take them out in the King Air and show them the turning radius. You'd think that would be really, really daunting. But with this new improvement, it's absolutely a pleasure to drive with your 360 uh, surround view camera and its improved capacity and clarity. Uh, this coach is so easy to operate. Anyone can take it out and get it into the right little spot so you can get just that view for the morning when you wake up and you're having your coffee in the middle of a beautiful vista. Um, so once again, uh, we talked about this briefly inside. So these, uh, this awning package is available in a lot of our RVs. It's standard in the King Air. But as I said earlier, I didn't want to put the shades out, but it was warm. So these are just wonderful. They're super simple. They're very elegant. Uh, they're much more wind resistant, so you can keep them out on a little more breezy day. But they keep all the sun from coming into your RV. And then, of course, you can see these beautiful bonded windows just unlike anything else we've ever carried. Uh, so we love that. Uh, the first time I did this video, I was really nervous and I forgot that this opened this way and I couldn't get the door to open and that's because it lifted up. So I'll just do this for you so that when you're showing off your RV, you don't have to uh, embarrass yourself and humiliate yourself publicly like I did. <laughs> I'm taking care of it for you. Okay, so this brings you to our really great um, water house system. So in this system, you have lots of things. So first of all, this is where you're going to load your fresh water. This is where you're going to dump your black water. This is where you're going to check your gray water. So everything is digitally controlled here. Um, but what's really important about this is the mana black system. So if, God forbid, you have a leak, instead of having to call it quits and jump in off of your road trip, you can actually turn off the water whether it be cold or hot at individual stations. So a lot more uh, system control than you would have in most RVs. A really, really nice feature. Another question? Another question? Sure. Yep. What's the turning radius for the updated tag axle? You know, I don't know what that is offhand, but uh, this is my... The turning radius? I don't know what the turning radius, I don't know the exact measurement but I will get that information for you. If you can just either email me or send me a quick text, and then I'll make sure I go into the comments after this video. I'll get that information. Um, I wanna make sure 
before I just rattle off some random number, it's accurate and I'll get that, I'll put that in the comments for us. Uh, but thank you for paying attention to our video and tuning in. And if you really wanna see how great it is, there's nothing like trying it out yourself. So I'll put it in my comments, but you come down here, let me show it to you. Cause that's what counts. It's all in the operation, right? Okay, um, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. And like I said, if I don't know the answer, I can get it. Okay, so back to where we were. Uh, so once again, we've got our residential sh uh, shower head outside. So if you're like me and you're maybe a paddle boarder and you want to rinse things off before you put them away, you can. And then really easy. So your black tank and gray tank rinse right there. And this is equipped standard with a SantaCon system. So if you want to use a traditional hose, you can attach that here. If you want to use SantaCon, you can do that here. And then of course, if you are plugged into sewage and you'd like to be able to put everything through the bottom, uh, you can just go ahead and open this up and then you can just put your hose right through the bottom there. So very, very nice. And then of course, a power hose reel here for your water. Um, so once again, this, this house is just a really, really, very clean, tidy, easy to use system. Uh, we've got a filter here, uh, but that's not the most important filter. The most important filter is gonna be our whole house water filter, uh, because in this RV, the whole house water filter is actually gonna be infrared. So not only is it cleaning your water, it's cleaning your water. So this is a really big uh, advantage in the King Air, and that's the only place you're gonna find it. So you have a 50 foot long uh, retractable power cord here. Um, really easy to use. It fits right outside of these little grommets. Super easy access. You'll notice that we have lots of different places to plug in cable if someone still has cable at one of the RV parks they go to. And then there are power buttons right here on top. So super simple. And then when that's closed, it just looks like that. And then once again, there's that vacuum, uh, vacuum shut. Now this is where these slides get really important. Um, so we talked earlier about uh, these slides, but if this whole house slide was out on the driver's side, this would be a really hard to load coach. So I'm gonna put this out all the way. We're not gonna wait for it to go in all the way. I don't think it's necessary, but I wanted to show you, if you wanted to load up your RV and you had your slide out and you weren't done packing up yet, you have so much access uh, because of the, the depth of these slides. So just a really, really nice feature. And that's on both of these co compartments. And this is just a great place to keep lawn chairs, fishing poles, whatever it is that you might use when you go on your trips. And once again, just a really, really deep access for your RV. And you can see, I mean, that's, it's gotta be at least five or six feet at least as tall as me well that's not saying a lot okay so last but not least okay so this is my favorite compartment because it has two things in it that are really important one what a luxury to be able to wash your RV with your own power washer anywhere you are I love this but then once again that UV treated water system up here on the left Really, really, uh, Numar has set the bar. Good luck anyone catching up to us. Uh, this is just such a nice advancement in RV, uh, especially these days where people are, you know, dealing with camping in the pandemic and wanting to get away. Like this is a way that you know that you can go pretty where, anywhere off the grid and your water system is gonna be safe because not only is it filtrated, it's actually purified by UV light. It's amazing. Um, I don't even have that in my house. Uh, so here's your other fueling station. Nice feature there. And then of course, in true Numar tradition, we've got our eighth sensor, but we have our really beautiful electronic bay up here for our technicians. You know, you, we all know that uh, easy access and less time in the shop equals less dollars out of your pocket. Uh, we do provide you with extra fuses. Everything is very clearly labeled. Um, you know, we do just an amazing job with this RV. So I think that that's just nice to be able to see. Uh, we talked about the holding, we talked about, oh, we didn't talk about, okay, I don't have the battery on, so I can't show you the 12.5 uh, Onan, Onan, Onan uh, silent generator, but underneath this is a big, big, big generator. So 
if you did need generator uh, power, you've got a 12.5 Owen quiet, quiet generator here. The Onan is, of course, an industry standard, but 12.5 is really, really big. Uh, just like it is in a lot of our other diesel pushers, it's housed here underneath, and this just slides out for easy access. Um, on that note, keep bringing you up here to these, I know we talked about the mirrors from the inside, um, but here's another one of your cameras just to illuminate down the, tur down the turnpike if you're changing lanes and you want to make sure that there's no one uh, in your way. No big deal there. And then we have the full paint masterpiece finish with four layers of clear coat and four steps of cut and bus buff, uh, but cut and brush. But we also have what's called a beta fusion diamond shield. So an ultra high quality, ultra durable uh, diamond shield here on the front of this Newmar. And I know we've talked about bonded windows all day, but look at the size of that windshield. Um, this is truly, it's an honor to work for a company like this. It's, a, it's an honor to show you a product like this today. Um, I didn't cover half of it. There's so much to go over, uh, but I'd like to keep you guys tuned in for as long as possible. So I go kind of quick. If you have other questions or you need inf more information, I will make sure in today's, uh, today's video to put notes down below on YouTube. Uh, follow us at TransWest Truck Trailer and RV here in Frederick. Follow me, my name is Katie O'Neill. Um, I don't just do King Airs, I do Renegades, I do, you know,